history's verdict. Hirohito. On the 6th of September 1941, a controversial figure made a typically enigmatic contribution to a momentous meeting. Emperor Hirohito of Japan was attending an imperial conference. Despite the grandiose name, these meetings were formalities in which politicians and generals announced major decisions they'd already taken. Under Japan's constitution, simply informing the silent emperor of a decision gave it instant legal validity. They were telling him now of their bold strategy to go to war against the United States and the British and Dutch empires for mastery of Asia and the Pacific. They knew this drastic plan would lead to countless deaths and an uncertain fate for Japan. Yamamoto, commander of the Imperial Combined Fleet and one of the architects of the plan, had already warned the Prime Minister of the risks. If you insist on my going ahead, I can promise to give them hell for a year or a year and a half, but I can guarantee nothing after that. Despite the dangers of this huge gamble, the men present were unanimous that war against the Western powers was necessary and inevitable. As always, they expected their emperor to remain mute. Hirohito had other ideas. He stunned the assembled leaders by speaking at this event for the first time in his reign. According to Prime Minister Konoe, the cabinet ministers were struck with awe. And this unprecedented intervention was no mere interruption. The emperor went on to recite a poem. And as befits such an extraordinary individual, it was no ordinary poem. Across the four seas, all are brothers. In such a world, why do the waves rage, the winds roar?